All right, so this is LM Studio, and as you can see, the AI model here is able to perform search on the web, and then eventually it gave me this answer. So normally, one way to make a local and offline AI model to be able to access content on the web is by using an MCP server. And that's quite a standard practice, and I actually have made some videos on how you can set it up on LM Studio. But for this chat window, I wasn't actually using MCP server. I was using a somewhat hidden feature called plugin in LM Studio. So there is a plugin that you can use and it will basically allow any AI model to be able to get content on the web, visit some links, and therefore it can access the most relevant and up-to-date information and it will improve the quality of the answer from the AI model. In fact, this, met this method is a lot better than MCP server. It is easier, it is faster, and also it is completely free. So let me show you how you can set it up in LM Studio. First, of course, you have to download and install LM Studio on your computer. And after that, you have to install Node.js on your computer. If you already have Node.js, then you don't have to do this. You can skip this process. But if you don't, you can navigate to Node.js.org and then click this button and install the program normally on your computer. Now, after that, I'm going to go back to LM Studio. And basically, you need to use a model that supports something called tool calling. So let me just navigate to Discover. And there are some models that have this tiny hammer icon, and that's an indication that, hey, this model do have the tool calling capability. So you can use this model, you can use the model to actually perform search on the web. Now, these are just the models that are being recommended by the staff from LM Studio, but I'm going to be using a model called John version 1. It is one of the best and quite lightweight model if you care a lot about performance and consistency when uh, using the tool calling feature. This is from Hugging Face, that's why there is no label for the tool calling, but it does come with the tool calling feature. So I'm going to be using John version 1. And by the way, if you are curious about the benchmark of this AI model, there is actually this page that you can check. It is apparently better than some other models like Perplexity Pro and uh, DeepSeek and also ChatGPT, etc. So, so far for its size, this model is quite consistent and I think this is perfect for my computer. Anyway, let me just go back to LM Studio and I'm going to download the John version 1 with 4 billion parameter. And I guess I'm going to download the one with only a 4-bit quantization. It is not very big, but I think it is enough for my computer. Now I'm going to click download and I'll let I'll show you the next step that you can do. Okay, that's awesome. The model has been downloaded and I guess I'm going to start chatting with the model. Now I'll just send a simple message like, hi there. Just want to make sure that this model can run normally on my computer. Okay, as you can see, it is able to perform uh, normally and now I guess we can start installing the plugin. But before that, there are few things that I'm going to change on this uh, model. So I will navigate to my models and I'll click this gear icon on a model that I'm using, which is John version one with four billion parameter. And I'm going to change few things like, I want to increase the context length to be around 16,000. Okay, that's the minimum for me. And after that, I'm going to specify the system prompt. So for the system prompt, this is going to be the one that I'm using. This is actually the system prompt used by John.ai app, similar to LM Studio. So if you're interested to use this system prompt, I'm going to leave it in the description down below. And I'm going to just copy and paste the prompt right here. And lastly, I'm going to change the temperature to be around 0 0.3. So the AI is going to be a bit more deterministic. And after that, I'm going to close this. And well, we can go back to the main screen. And now I guess we can start installing the plugin. So you can navigate to this page and don't worry, the link is available in the video description. So this is a DuckDuckGo plugin that you can install on LM Studio. Now I'm going to click this button, click open LM Studio. And you'll see this message, just click download and just wait for the plugin to be downloaded and installed on LM Studio. Now I'm going to click done because there is another plugin that I'm going to install. This is optional, but this is very useful, especially if you want to 
uh, make AI model to visit a link that you provided. And also this can help an AI model to display pictures in the uh, response, although that needs some further configuration. But at least this will enhance the capability of the DuckDuckGo plugin. Again, the link will be available in the video description. I'm going to click this, click open LM Studio, and I'm going to uh, click the download button. Or maybe not, I don't see the button at all. Okay, there you go, it took quite a while. And after this, you can actually start chatting with the model and it will start using the plugin. But maybe there are a few things that you might want to change on the plugins. So I'm going to click done. And here, I'm going to click this button, show settings, go to programs, and then here I'm going to, okay, pin this to the chat input. So basically, it's going to be here. Every time you want to chat with an AI model, you can enable or disable the option for these plugins. And I do recommend to enable that. Okay, I will do the same for the other plugin. Pin to chat input. And lastly, I'm going to basically allow the, the tool to be used by the AI model automatically. I don't want to uh, click confirm every time AI needs to call or do the tool calling. So this just makes things a bit more convenient. There you go. So I guess we can start chatting with uh, this AI model. Now I'm going to ask a question like, let's say I want to know about Google News, Google Home News. So recently I just read that Google uh, Google Home devices are now using Gemini instead of Google Assistant. So I want to see if this AI model can actually uh, give me the latest information, which is basically uh, the, the news from Google Home. So let me send a message like Google Home News, send a message, and I'm hoping that it will mention something like uh, Gemini is now the new AI in some Google Home devices. Okay, I'm still, uh, still wait. I'm still waiting for the answer. It is thinking. Now, I do recommend to actually use the thinking model because I tried using the non-thinking model and they're not as good as the thinking version. So yeah, even though it is a bit slower, but at least it's usually going to give you a better answer. And there it goes. So finally, this is the answer. Uh, Google is now using Gemini on some of its Google Home devices. So that's exactly the latest news. It is not something that's coming out from the training data of this uh, model, it is content from the web. So that's essentially how you can install a plugin and turn your local and offline AI model in LM Studio to be an online one. And of course, good for privacy because it is using the DataGo search engine. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on my next video.